Well, hi folks. Yes, it's a beautiful frosty morning here on the farm. It's uh, one of those days when it's just nice to be outdoors. But having said that, it's too cold. So what we'll do, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna talk about the new Alfa Romeo Tonale, which Gary and I were invited to go and test drive back in the late summer or the autumn last year. And um, if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know that I've got mixed feelings about hybrids in general and electric cars in particular. These poor souls may subsequently go on to buy a Nissan Leaf. Oh, what a shame, it's caught fire. So we've got the fire going and I've got a nice cup of tea. So we'll speak in a sec. Oh yes, uh, did I mention that there were cakes? So when my friend Gary told me that he'd booked a test drive in the new Alfa Romeo Tonale, um, I wasn't really sure whether to be excited or not. You see, I've owned a couple of hybrid cars before. Um, we won't go into the brands, but um, let's just say that it was really mostly for company car tax purposes, wink wink. So to be completely honest, um, I found them interesting from um, a technical standpoint and obviously they were quite economical as well but from a point of view of driver enjoyment I think I've had more fun emptying a dishwasher anyway the Alpha might be different I thought to myself because it is an Alpha after all isn't it so first impressions were great um, the Tonale is smaller and more delicate looking in the metal compared to the Stelvio which loomed over the Tonale like a chunky older brother. Now this Tonale was actually a, what's called a pre-production car, so it was Italian. Uh, it had been brought over for the test drive, so it was left-hand drive, and it wasn't quite perfect, of course. There were a few bugs still to iron out in the software, such as a slightly fussy tailgate opening device, which took a few tries to be persuaded. Climb underneath, Gary. Go on, Gary. Get under there and show it who's boss. <laughs> it was also effectively the base model, which means uh, it was front wheel drive, a petrol electric hybrid or mild hybrid as they call it, uh, with a fairly modest 160 horsepower. That's good for a hybrid. Well, it's, it's good for a car of that size, really. Well, yeah. I mean, um, and the actual battery power is directly in the gearbox. Okay. Not all of this uh, is in English, obviously. No, no, that's fine. Uh, so you can have it on full minimalist. <laughs> that is minimalist, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, back to the dials again. Um, and then you can, you can change the interior. So there you go. Because mm -hmm. we're in dynamic mode, you've got the brake percentage, water, temperature. Now, the, the apparent complexity of the Tonale's electronic management systems was a slight concern of mine, as my gut feeling is that the target audience of the Tonale will be families, and I'm not convinced that everybody wants the level of programming and control that's actually on offer here. Or your distance control for your driver assist, uh, or your peak G-force meter. <laughs> you can put up on your screen Wi-Fi hotspots and whatever you want, really. Displays so you can 
However, I do like the idea of keeping all the car's service record in the form of an NFT, which stands for Non-Fungible Token. And if you're not familiar with blockchain technology, this is basically an electronic way of storing data which cannot be altered or deleted once it's been recorded. This is a world first for any car, and time will tell if it offers any big advantages. The car also features the Alexa voice assistant, which you may or may not like depending on how paranoid you are about the CIA listening in to your very important conversations about the price of beans. It's very nice, isn't it? Uh, yes, so often the quick and dynamic mode will stiffen the steering wheel. Bend to the left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Yosa Way. And also make the throttle more responsive as well. And they're fly by wire as well, mm. so there's no physical cable. Um, <laughs> which is. <laughs> like, yeah. Is it? You can turn that sound off. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping that the speedo is in kilometres. Oh yes, it is. Yes, it is. Otherwise, we're doing 110 <laughs> miles an hour. Bugger. That would be impressive. <laughs> After 800 yards, take the exit. A380 towards Torquay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I was also pleasantly surprised by how roomy the interior was, especially in the back, which was far bigger than I was expecting. And in line with the technically advanced focus of the Tonale, I was also pleased to see both USB and USB-C ports, which should keep the power-hungry backseat devices happy. Then it was my turn to drive, so I headed to some bumpier lanes to see how the Tonale felt on less than perfect tarmac. Again, I was pleasantly surprised by the dynamics and steering. The steering's very light. out the window in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to feel it on a slightly bumpier road that was all yeah. because like I said with the, the optional 20 inch rims it is going to be slightly more harsh than oh, the yeah, 80 yeah, but it's far less um, crashy for want of a different word mm -hmm. um, the, than you'd expect from other manufacturers. Yeah. The gearbox, like some of the hybrids, was a little bit too keen to change up and down for my tastes, but no doubt this is deliberately programmed to keep you in the right ratio for the speed and the situation. The roll of the car and the pitch and the braking and accelerating has got that mm. um, stability. sort of rolling around kind of car. So those three beeps are because there's a speed camera coming. <laughs> Damn them. <laughs> speed cameras. Again, that noise can be turned off. So then, the Tonali looks great, has a lovely interior and was actually far better to drive than I was expecting. If you can adjust to the uh, slightly busy gearbox and you like typically alpha pointy steering, I do, then I think you'll actually enjoy driving this alpha far more than the other vanilla flavoured cookie cutter SUVs out there. The Tonale is actually rather elegant and classy looking overall as well, which sets it apart from some of its bug-eyed and aggressive looking rivals. Some of them look like Mike Tyson chewing a wasp. So. In summary, if you're in the market for a new SUV at the moment and you want to look like you've got a mind of your own and some good taste, then you could do a lot worse than going and booking a test drive with a new Alfa Romeo Tonale. I think you'll love it. Thanks to Vosper's Alfa Romeo in Exeter for the test drive. Really appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Ciao.